Hi everybody, welcome back to 30 Days Until Done. Um, we're, we're starting on our second short story, our Splinter story. Um, and, uh, and the Splinter story is, is following a character, um, it might be the antagonist, if in your first story you only had two characters. Well, in my case I had uh, tertiary characters who didn't really play into this, but I wanted to explore them. And I think yesterday I kind of made a mistake and, uh, well here, here, let me back up a little bit. Okay, so here's what we're going to do today. Last, last week we wrote a story based on setting. Today we're going to write, uh, 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 we're going to start our story, and this story is going to be based on an initial action, which is another way that you can start a story, right? So you can start with the setting and have the characters come in, or you can start with the initial action. And I realized that I don't really have, um, I mean, I've got good themes, and I've got a good character, and I've got uh, these antagonists who don't realize that they're antagonists, and it's not their fault. I mean, it's all, all very subtle and good, but that initial action is too subtle, uh, and there really wasn't an initial action. So I'm going to start with an initial action. I'm going to start, the, they're in the forest, and the the setting is still important, don't get me wrong. It's just not based, the whole story isn't going to be based on the setting. And the, the character is going to see a deer come through, um, and he's going to try to interact with the deer, um, and which is, um, it looks like it's going to, because you, you know, you've seen Bambi, and Bambi's this wonderful talking deer who, who's very sympathetic and empathetic, uh, but deers actually are animals who are terrified and don't want to be touched, uh, but they're kind of wandering around, they look like they're going to be gentle. Uh, more people are killed by deer than black bear by far, um, and the, the reason is, um, especially mule deer, especially is, the reason is people come up to them and try to touch them, they're called mules for, mule deer for a reason, they kick you, right? Um, and that, that's, uh, it, it's really it can be deadly, you can be disemboweled, and that happens. Uh, uh, quite frequently. Um, so he's going to be kicked. He's not going to be disemboweled, otherwise that's a very quick story. Um, uh, he, I think he's going to be kicked in the leg. Um, okay, so now in front of his family, um, he's been kicked in the leg, and this is somebody who's just lost his job as an architect. Um, he, he feels unmanned in, in all, all these different ways, and he's been beaten up by a, a, a deer, right? Uh, and that, that's going to be that. So what I just want is that initial action. Whatever that action is, make it dramatic. Uh, it doesn't have to be too dramatic, but uh, it, it should be something. I mean, it should be something going on. Like for me, it was just going to be the story about this guy kind of mopily driving along. Mistake, right? There, there's nothing going on there. Um, but a good initial action like that, a deer kicks you, um, th that that's great. Uh, I, should I have his femur be broken? There's so much pain with that, it might not be possible to, to pull it off. He's just going to get a, a big bruise, which is, is uh, an unmanning thing. And, uh, okay, so I'm thinking paragraph, maybe two paragraphs, about him talking to his wife and walking up to this deer and being kicked. Um, and then it's like, you know what, she told him not to, to do it, too, um, which... <clears throat> you know, unmanning them even more, and she's just trying to be helpful, right? Uh, and so that that's great, just that initial action. Um, I'm going to then, after this, th I'm thinking ahead till tomorrow, what I'm going to have to do. Um, now he's got to conflict with her in some way, right? Uh, they've got to start uh, uh, arguing about things, otherwise it's not going to be interesting. And the son's going to have to see it. I think the son's going to laugh. I might have the son laugh. Okay, so anyway, um, that is, uh, when, so write one or two paragraphs, post it down below, and then I will uh, uh, see you tomorrow.